Well, we've all heard of the legendary Planet X or Nibiru. And here recently, in the past nine months to a year, all these different agencies and scientists have been lending more credence to the idea that there is another body out there in our solar system, a ninth planet, so to speak. If you don't want to rule Pluto as being a, a planet, they have hinted for the longest time that there's something out there perturbing Jupiter, Neptune, and I know, and some of, some of you out there know, that they've known this for a long time, for decades. Well, it seems to me that this body is definitely moving closer because they continue to talk about it more and more. And for those that missed my last video on this, I mean, you can just take a good look out there. And even in the storyline here at this link, you will see that it's no longer a question of if something is out there. They are stating it is there. It is there. The question they're trying to figure out is how it got there. You see? And they're trying to leave everybody lost in, in that confusion of trying to figure out exactly how it got there. Was it created in our system? Is it a rogue planet that was part of another system, another star that came by? It also brings into question, is there a dwarf? star sitting out there and there's always been that question because a lot of the star systems throughout space are binary and our star itself was born in a star cluster so to have a rogue planet I would expect there to be a lot of different bodies out there but to me they've known about this for a long time and the fact that they're continuing to talk about this and we're seeing changes out there throughout space not only here on earth but on other planets leads me to believe that this thing is potentially inbound you read the details here you're talking about new research coming from astronomers from harvard smithsonian that are stating this okay not just people in their backyard trying to take a guess these are the top guys coming out and saying this some of them. I mean, you have all the different agencies. You have all the deception that comes out of NASA and everything else and all the other ones around the globe. But one thing's for sure. They're all continually talking about this body and they admit that it's there here in this article without a doubt. The question is what to label it. An exoplanet? Planet 9? They can't explain exactly how it got there, but it's there. And it's on this long elliptical orbit. And what they're refusing to state, what they're refusing to say is key. It's what you should be looking at the most. What they're not talking about is whether it's coming in or going out because it would make a world of difference and it should be one of the main things discussed and they're not saying a peep about it. Okay? That's where it sits. There is an object out there. Get used to it. Know it now. It's not a mystery. It's not, is there an object there or not? It's there. And now they're trying to finally come out with some so-called details to try to explain away how it got there or why they haven't noticed it this whole time. And I'm telling you, they have. It's what's been written in legend, inscribed on the walls of pyramids, in, in the ancient text through many different cultures. There's a reason why that was there, that extra planet. And then they wanted to act like it never existed. Well, maybe all those mythical legends weren't myths after all. And as a heads up, for fireballs here, re recently we've seen an uptick. But here, within the next week, you're going to see a peak from another meteor shower. We just came through the tail of Comet Thatcher. Now we're going to pass through the tail of Halley's Comet. And for the people in the Southern Hemisphere, they're going to have the best chance of seeing this. Folks in the Northern Hemisphere, your odds are going to be less. They say in Florida, Texas, places like that, you may see a dozen or so, about 1.30 a.m., 
couple hours before twilight. But once you get up to where about New York sits, they said that that's where it drops out and you shouldn't see anything. But I wouldn't rule it out because at the pace these fireballs are coming down these days all over the place, you never know where you're going to see them. But that's just a heads up update here in regards to space. If you guys see any fireball activity, we are going to be passing through this shower, this meteor shower. And like I said, from here on out, you can expect to hear more talk about this planet X, this mystery planet. And really, doesn't seem to be a mystery anymore to some of the top astronomers out there. They know it's there, and they, they even have calculations on it, down to the astronomical units. But like I said, they don't get into if it's inbound or outbound, and those are the key things. So I'll continue to update with more information as I come across it. As always, and until next time, this has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.